your dreams. I'm being followed and pursued by something. And I could feel that there was somebody behind. I was running and I was being chased. I'm running down the street, into a house, through the house. Down the stairs. Out the back. And I was being chased. Faster and faster. And I ran for all I was worth. My clothes were dragging me back. I was running away. I was running. And I ran. So I run along the corridor and I run up the stairs. I keep running up these stairs and round the corner. I sometimes run down the stairs into the corridor and I keep running and running and running. My legs wouldn't go quick enough. I couldn't get my breath to call out. I was running away. I was running very, very fast. Somehow I couldn't stop running. I was running and I fell over the mountain. There was the crocodile chasing me. I was running. There was the crocodile chasing me. I swam as fast as I could to get away from the crocodile. And the crocodile suddenly changed into a lion and then that changed into a tiger. The animals really, I suppose, don't mean to chase me. But because I'm frightened and I run, they follow me up. So I run along the corridor and I run up the stairs and uh, some great monstrous shape walks towards me in the corridor. And I run up the stairs. And my legs wouldn't go quick enough. And I keep running and running and running. Running and running and running. Uh, up uh, a big slope. And my legs wouldn't go quick enough. I was running and I was being chased. There was somebody after me, chasing me. Uh, up... Uh, a big slope, uh, up uh, a big slope. And I keep running and running and running, running and running and running. I couldn't get my breath to call out. So I run along the corridor and I run up the stairs. And uh, some great monstrous shape walks towards me in the corridor. I'm running down the street, into a house, through the house, out the back, over the somebody or I never see anybody. I know there's somebody behind me, but I never see them. It's neither a man or a woman. It's just enormous black shape. It's uh, just a mass, a mass of something, matter, coming towards me. A great, big, monstrous-looking mass, not a shape, just filling up the corridor. But it's neither a man or a woman. It's just enormous black shape in the corridor, filling up the corridor. It's a crocodile chasing me. I was running away. As I ran faster, I seemed to battle against it even more. My clothes were dragging me back. My clothes were dragging me back. I was running very, very fast. Somehow I couldn't stop running. I was running away. My legs wouldn't go quick enough. And I run up the stairs. The stairs are wide and stone. They're nasty stairs, um, institutional stairs. I keep running up these stairs and round the corner. I can't go right to the top. I just hide around the second corner, uh, hoping no one will see me. And then if I hear somebody, I sometimes run down the stairs into the corridor and all the time this terrible fear that I'm only in my white liberty bodice only in my liberty bodice I'm being followed and pursued by something 
I'm never quite sure what it is. This feeling of running down a staircase. I can still see the staircase, a very wide staircase in an old house. Big carved banisters. They go down in short flights. At the end of each flight, there's a large stained glass window and I run down the stairs faster and faster and the something which is following gets nearer and nearer and I don't know what it is I have the feeling that it's something which is about to envelop me in some way it's just this feeling of being followed and pursued I'm running down a corridor I'm being followed and pursued by something. I could feel that there was somebody behind and I was being chased. And I ran for all I was worth till I got to the edge of the cliff. And just as I was getting to the edge of the cliff, I couldn't remember anymore. I can see this corridor stretching into the distance, the perspective of it just fading into absolute nothingness. I couldn't remember anymore. I was running very, very fast. Somehow I couldn't stop running. I came to an edge of a great big cliff. And just as I was getting to the edge of the cliff, and just as I was getting to the edge of the cliff, I couldn't get my breath to call out. I went up, right up to the top, over the other side, and hung on to the cliff. I could feel that there was somebody behind. It was some form of beast, it was some form of great ape, and it was loping along, and it was making a noise, an uncanny noise. And my clothes were dragging me back, as if I'd been in the water, and my clothes were heavy, and they were becoming heavier, and they are being held by the streams of wind. As I ran faster, I seemed to battle against it even more, and it seemed more difficult to stay on this edge. It was very dark all the way around, and it was a very sharp edge. I knew that if I watched and kept breathing properly, I could keep on the top of this ridge. Then I sort of felt myself falling over the cliff. I was falling. Falling over the cliff. Falling over a cliff.